So I've got this project that I'm working on here. I'm gonna, uh, through these double doors here, I wanna have a thing that'll stick out, a, uh, a beam with a cable on it that I can hoist stuff up and then in to the garage. You know, things like maybe a couple of those farm implements <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> I've got furniture and stuff up there right now I'm storing that at some point I'm going to have to get down. So I picked up this Pittsburgh electric hoist. It's an 1,100 pound capacity. And uh, I'm just going to go through and try to uh, set something up to see how it works. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. So, I've taken this thing out of the box. Um, the cable comes out this way. So, you know, it's going to be mounted up on the ceiling. And uh, there's a couple of, uh, couple of mounts that go right here. And, uh, and then there's another one back here. So... The problem that I have is, you know, if you can imagine my my doors. I'm going to have a beam that's sticking out. And so, you know, once I get a load, once I get a load up there, then what am I going to do, right? Uh, you know, i got to get it inside somehow. So I got this, uh, this trolley that uh, I'm gonna stick on a little I-beam, which I have right here, it's upside down. You know, so you're gonna have to imagine this thing sort of flipped over. Um, and I sort of, you know, just put it together on this little piece of I-beam that I had. But you can see, um, you know, this thing's really heavy duty. It holds a thousand pounds. It also came from Harbor Freight. Um, two tons, or uh, one ton rather, 2,000 pounds. So, you know, that thing is over-engineered for that, so that's good. Um, so this is just an 1,100-pound capacity. Um, and then, so, <clears throat> so this thing, so I'll have a beam that I'll be able to stick out the front door, right? And I'll roll this apparatus right here, which will be attached to this trolley. I'll just roll it out, right? And then I'll, it's got this little remote control thing right here. I'll push the button. The load will go up there. And then I'll grab a hold of it because it's attached to that trolley and just roll it back inside. So that's the idea. That'll take a couple of days because I don't have, I'm not able to work all day on this thing. But, uh, well, that's what I've got so far. I've got to go get some extra I-beam. Uh, I'll go get like a 10 or 12 footer. Uh, oh, you know, it doesn't have to be that long. We'll see. I'll go up and do some measurements and some... I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work. Um, and I'll probably have to try a couple of different things before I get it right. I've looked on YouTube and I've seen... You know, there was one one guy who did basically the same thing. And... His problem, which is also probably going to be my problem, was this trolley is, um, you know, how do you hook it to this thing, right? So he uh, basically, uh, you know, attached some things right there that came up and then put a pipe that went through it. And then that pipe hooked onto this thing, right? So I think he welded it. He, he customized it a little bit. So... That's probably what I'm going to end up doing, too. I don't see any other way around it. Yeah, so this thing comes with these guys right here. So these things, these are the guys that go, if I can get one out of there. Right, so these things go right there like that. So there'll be one there. There'll be one there. And uh, 
if I put some sort of a, a pipe going between them um, and then affix that to this thing right here. Uh, you know, I'll have to weld it right on there. You know, I'll take this thing and uh, just, or, you know, maybe I'll even, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to hook it up, obviously. Well, I just got back from Harbor Freight. I picked up another one of these trolleys. I figure uh, it's not that I need two of them to lift, but I might need two of them to help me with sort of the design that I'm thinking of building. And I picked up uh, a couple more chain hooks, which I, I needed. My other chain hooks were too big. I hope this is the right size. Picked up uh, some links here. And I got this. This cost me free. It cost me free. So I think I've got everything I need. I also stopped by the steel store and picked up a couple of I-beams like this that were, uh, I picked them up eight feet long. So I'm just gonna go up, start playing around, see what I can do. So this is just a quick update on how this hoist is coming along. So here's what I've decided to do. Um, so I have these two, let me get down here. I have a, a trolley there and a trolley there. Um, and as you can see, I've got this, uh, this beam going across there. Um, and I've got it hooked up over there and welded to that uh, corner angle. And then um, right now I'm welding this, uh, these bars going from the trolley down to this bar right here. Right? So this bar here is going to be able to roll along that beam up there. Okay. And so it's actually going to be able to roll this part right here, which is four feet. It's going to be able to roll basically four feet out the door. And uh, I'll have the hoist right on the end of it. So I'll be able to lift stuff up and then I'm going to roll the whole thing back in. So that's the idea. And uh, right now I'm just got this one all welded off and I'm just finishing that one up there. Okay, I'm just about done. I've uh, got these things all welded up, got that pipe going across there. It's all secured. And I'm just about to weld this little bar right on the end there. That way uh, I can slide the chain back and not have to worry about the chain slipping off the edge. Eventually, I'm gonna have a, uh, a piece of steel going across there instead of that two by four. For now, the 2x4 is going to be able to hold anything that I want to lift up here. In fact, it probably always would be able to, but just for the sake of, uh, just for the sake of it, I'm going to reinforce it with, uh, not with I-beam, but with uh, just some uh, strong tubing, probably. And so, and so my next step is to uh, put that thing right on the tip out there so that I can slide it out and test it. That's right after I get this bar here welded on. Well, I just did the maiden voyage and didn't even think about uh, recording it. I, uh, I did figure out something else I have to do here. So this thing it slides in and out pretty good. Um, one thing I noticed is that this thing right here 
it goes up uh, when you get weight out there, you know, tilts. Duh. <laughs> so I need to put a, uh, I need to basically put a piece of uh, steel or something that goes from there up to there just to keep it from tilting up. But uh, I lowered my, lowered my thing. We'll bring it up here. Wait for it to stop swinging there. So I've got the garage door down there. And here it is. See, at this point I can just wheel it back in, lower it down if it was something else, you know, into some wheels or something and wheel it to where I need to put it. But this thing doesn't belong up here, so I'm just gonna put it back down. I no longer need to uh, heave it up and down the stairs, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I'm no engineer, <laughs> but it works. <laughs>